Hi guys and welcome back. Now as you know build 3.0 is in Rust. I've done an update video on it already. Some things have changed slightly from that video but also now in Rust is an upkeep for your base which basically means you have to put resources within your TC to keep decay from happening in your base which is actually quite a good idea because it's going to stop huge bases and it's also going to mean bases decay if they aren't upkept. So if someone leaves a server you don't have to raid it as much to get into it if you leave it for a little while. It's also going to stop huge bases from tryhards. So basically, doors are going to be easy to get through because no people aren't going to have as many doors. And honeycomb isn't going to be so, so much a thing, if you like, because people may not want to have the upkeep. So what I've done, I've put some simple bases together, some starter bases, some with honeycomb, some without, some with different types of resources. I'm going to show you a basic upkeep for these bases so you know what to expect when the update hits or if you're joining the update late and you're just trying to find out what's happening. So your basic one by one as an upkeep will cost you 156 stone every 24 hours to keep that base going. So you have to put 156 stone inside that TC every 24 hours to keep it going. Now simple two, two by two, as you can see, I haven't put any doors inside here, so it's just a shell. 455 stone every 24 hours now this is a bit more this is all honeycombed put roof pieces in and floor pieces stairs a bit more of your traditional base on a server 3946 stone every 24 hours and this is just a base what I've put together using different materials i.e. stone wood and metal you can see there it accumulates all three resources to keep it going and not decaying. Now your huge bases that you build, that is going to go up higher and higher the more you build. So you want to keep that in mind when you're doing it. It's something that's going to play a major factor in Rust now. Now it's quite easy to keep the upkeep. You actually just drag stone in there and it'll tell you protected for two days, four hours, 44 minutes, 50 seconds. So you can put more than you have to. So if you know you're going offline for a day, or you're concerned that you might forget, you can put as much as you want in there. You can even use it as a storage area. So bear this in mind when you're making your bases. It's something that is coming in now that's going to change the way you build. So don't go big fast. Solo players, it's going to hurt you a little bit because you can't have huge base in a populated server because nodes are harder to find. You've now got build 3.0 so you can't wall stack and you now have to use an upkeep for your base as well. So please ensure you get some kind of design that you can maintain and you know isn't going to bite you in the ass big style. Any more changes come with it I will let you know. Just keep an eye out on reddit because someone will post a week of exactly what costs what per wall per floor tile and there'll probably be a calculator somewhere popping up next time i will try and get a base out for you using this meta i'm not going to rush one out a lot of people have i don't see the point at the minute i want to see how it actually pans out before i put something out i've got a couple ideas already but as i say i want to make sure that it's something good rather than just something that's been rushed La 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 la